Okay, we're good to go. And the good news is I actually remembered to shave my ear hair before shooting this True Wireless Earbuds video as well. All ready for those close-ups. Don't ever say a tech expert isn't anything but 100% professional. So lately I've seen a lot of fresh new True Wireless Earbuds hitting the UK with active noise cancellation for a decent price point. But one of the cheapest I've tested out so far is the Amazon Echo Buds second generation, fresh for the arse end of 2021. These True Wireless earbuds will cost you just over 100 quid from Amazon's UK website. They've actually been discounted to around the £80 mark in the Black Friday sales as well, which frankly is bargainous given the features packed into this thing. Now, I've been testing out the Amazon Echo Buds second generation for a good couple of weeks now, so here's my full in-depth review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So let's start, as always, with the design. And I do rather like the look and feel of these Echo Buds second gen. They're reasonably compact, definitely smaller than the first gen buds, that's for sure. They don't poke out of your head in a absolutely ridiculous manner, unlike some rivals like Sennheiser's True Wireless Earbuds. Although, yeah, gotta admit, it does still somewhat look like somebody has stuffed a pair of Rolos into your ears. You do have four sizes of rubbery tip bundled in the box with the Amazon Echo Buds second generation, so you're guaranteed to find a fit that is good for your ears or as close to guaranteed as you could possibly manage. And if you dive into the Alexa app on your smartphone, this can even help you find the best size fit for your particular head shape by doing some sort of tonal voodoo shenanigans. And Amazon has provided a couple of different sizes of wingtip as well, which you can slip around the Amazon Echo Buds. Just helps to lodge them a bit more securely in your ears if you feel like they're not quite secure enough already. Personally, I had absolutely no problems in that area. I found the fit was perfectly secure even without the tips. I even tried jogging a little bit with these things. That's how dedicated I am to the testing cause. And just to further prove how good the fit is, mosh test! So overall, I've got to say the design is certainly uh, a big thumbs up for me on the Echo Buds second generation. I like that there's no dangly stems on like the AirPods and a few other rivals where it kind of looks like something's leaking out of both of your lug holes. But it's perfectly comfortable having them stuffed in my, uh, my ear holes for a good few hours before the old ear fatigue started to set in. And they are fully IPX4 moisture and sweat resistant as well. Yum! Now actually connecting the second gen Amazon Echo Buds to your smartphone, absolute piece of pie, no worries at all. Just download the Alexa app onto your smartphone and then they'll pair up within just a couple of minutes or so. It'll run you through the setup process, make sure you've got the right size ear tips and all of that. And I found the Bluetooth range on these things absolutely perfect as well. I could literally leave my smartphone downstairs, I could bugger off upstairs, and I'd still get a really strong, stable connection, no judders or anything. And the Alexa app does allow you to tinker with a lot of the settings here, including the actual audio output, the active noise cancellation feature, which we'll touch on later, and the touch controls. And speaking of those touch controls, I found they were absolutely perfectly fine here on the Echo Buds. Very easy to get to grips with, uh, very intuitive, that's for sure. You've got full support for single, double, and triple taps of either bud, as well as a long press of either as well. And the default actions weren't perfect for my own particular needs, but you can choose what each action does inside of the Alexa app, so you can set it up however you like, or alternatively, you can just disable all these controls if you're not a fan. And you get the always handy auto pause feature as well, so just pluck out either of the buds and your music will pause. So if somebody comes up and starts chatting at you and you whip out a bud and have a conversation and then when they finally bug it off and left you in peace, just stick it back in your lug hole again and your music or whatever you listen to will resume. Now you may remember back at the start of the video, if you didn't skip all of that rambly bollocks, I did mention that ANC, active noise cancellation, quite a common feature on true wireless earbuds these days, especially around this sort of price point. It had ANC on the first generation of Echo Buds, so unsurprisingly it's back for the second gen as well. And it works an absolute charm. It's fully scalable within that Alexa app. And certainly if you boost it all the way up to that maximum level, I found that the noise cancellation did a great job of just drowning out the obnoxious traffic sounds and other oral sh** that was going on all around me, even on a really busy high street. And that's despite the inclusion of an actual vent in each of the buds just to help relieve ear pressure in case you do uh, find that you suffer a little bit when using the likes of true wireless earbuds. So I found that even when I was kicking about in central London, like the London Bridge area, lots of people milling around, lots of traffic and honking the horns and such forth, I found I could happily enjoy an audiobook or a podcast without having to jack the volume all the way up and knacker my already pretty wrecked old ears. And even on the max ANC set, and I didn't find there was much in the way of wind distortion when things got a bit breezy or I was moving at pace as well. A little bit, but not too bad, not as bad as some rivals. And at any point, uh, by long pressing one of the buds, certainly the default control settings, you can flip reverse that ANC into pass-through mode as it's done. This basically just pipes in everything that's going on around you. It's the exact opposite of noise cancelling. Quite good if you want actual awareness of what is happening around you at any given moment. 
Now audio quality and of course the Echo Buds could have all this brilliant noise cancellation and all these other excellent features but if they sound like crud then it's not much to recommend. But thankfully despite the fact that these things use dinky 5.7mm audio drivers the sound quality is actually pretty damn good out of them. It's actually well balanced as uh, so you don't get any particular bass heavy or treble heavy output from them which is definitely good because the first generation could be a little bit bass heavy shall we say. And if you happen to really love your bass, no worries, there is a basic equaliser tool within that Alexa app that you can use just to tweak the output. And if you are a true audiophile, you want to hear every single little element of every single track that you listen to uh, going on, well, definitely you want to upgrade your budget a bit from the likes of the Echo Buds Generation 2. But I personally found that they delivered a perfectly decent soundscape, whether I was listening to metal and rock music or enjoying a bit more peaceful, meditation-y style relaxation stuff. So yeah, overall for this price point, uh, definitely pretty bloody good. And of course, one of the benefits of having Amazon Echo Buds is the fact that you've got full Alexa voice assistant support. And if you accept all the permissions and everything, you don't have to like touch the buds or anything to wake her up. All you've got to do is use the wake word. And I found that worked absolutely fine for controlling my smart home goodies. I could just say, Alexa, turn off studio lights. And my will is done. Alexa, turn on studio lights. Don't you just love it when technology just works? And if you do happen to prefer the likes of the Google Assistant instead, well, there's full support for that as well, but you will have to use the touch controls to wake them up. Now, of course, none of the ANC Smart or the Alexa voice assistant shenanigans would be possible if it wasn't for the microphones built into these buds. You've actually got a trio of microphones packed into each of the earbuds. Uh, so they do a fantastic job of picking up your voice, especially when you're on a call, for instance, uh, and there's lots of other noise going on around you. I also found they did a great job of uh, understanding my Alexa voice commands, again, when there was lots of background clamour. Now let's finish up with battery life and Amazon reckons you get five full hours of use out of the Echo Buds second generation before they'll die a death and you'll have to shove them back in their handy little carry case. And sometimes these manufacturer predictions can be a little bit optimistic, shall we say, but I found that that was actually pretty much bang on for the Echo Buds second generation. About five hours of use and that was with the ANC maxed out and also the Alexa uh, voice controls fully turned on as well. And no, admittedly, that's not the best result around for true wireless earbuds, even with ANC, the likes of the Sennheiser CX True Wireless, for instance, they manage more like six to seven hours of use, even with the ANC maxed out. And yeah, a lot of rivals can see you through closer to six hours of use uh, rather than just five-ish. But to be honest, after five hours, I was kind of ready to see the buds out anyway, because my ears were starting to get a little bit tender. Unfortunately, uh, the actual carry slash charging case for the Echo Buds doesn't pack much juice itself. You'll only get a couple of refills for the Echo Buds from that charge before the case itself will also be out of juice and he's powering back up. You can check the battery life of the Buds at any point from that Alexa app. And you've also got a couple of battery indicators here on the case. You can tell whether the Buds are fully charged and how that case is doing too. The case itself can be refilled using a bit of Type-C USB action. You can actually bung Amazon an extra 20 quid in order to get a case with wireless charging support, which is kind of helpful if you've got a smartphone that supports reverse wireless charging, for instance, and you find yourself on the road a lot, you forgot to charge up the Bud's case, you can just bung it on the back of your phone and that'll help to give it a bit of power on the move. But to be perfectly honest, I find myself on the move quite a lot and I just take a, a power pack, a battery pack with me, just use that to charge up my phone and my accessories when I can't hit a plug. But yeah, anyway, that is my full in-depth review of the Amazon Echo Buds second generation fresh for 2021 slash 2022. And overall, I gotta say, I really like them for this sort of price point pretty solid value for money. The ANC is strong. You've got lots of uh, different earbuds and wing tips and the Alexa app will even help you find a decent fit as well. Plenty of functionality built into that app including the ability to change up the touch controls which work remarkably well. So besides the distinctly average battery life and the fact that the charging case itself uh, doesn't pack much power either, it's very little to complain about. So best budget sub £100 ANC uh, buds right now, very potentially, certainly if you pick them up in that Black Friday sale. But anyway, enough of my yammer and please do let me know what you think of the Amazon Echo Buds down below if you've tested them out or if you're just tempted by them uh, or just write whatever the hell you want down there. It's a free world. Have at it. And please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.